Previously on my Germany trip, lots of Berlin. Now on my Germany trip, a little bit of all these places. Alright, so now we find the objective we came here for and bingo, right there. So I'm waiting at Miniature Wonderland to get in and listen, they have this, these little puzzles that you can play and it's finished. Oh, let's put that bag in here. But you may notice that presumably because of German laws, no swastikas. So apparently when you're done, you can give some feedback in either German or English. So the keys to the blanket room are attached to these wooden Dutch clogs so that you won't run off of them. Notice that apparently cyclists don't really tend to wear helmets here. I guess it's because it's just safer here in the Netherlands. Also, this came in the mail. I decided to wear it for the first time. So my next goal is to find a store where I can buy a miniature version of that. Okay, I'm kind of completely lost, all I know is that I'm on Culverstraat, but, hey, not a bad place to be lost. 
time is required. Now the Pine Lake Museum. Let's try to measure out. First time I've ever been on one of these things. Got my own street too. I'm guessing that's perfectly fine to do. Sometimes you just stumble upon this view. Honestly, looking at these walls, I kind of feel like I shouldn't even touch the walls here. Just so you know, if this type of stuff is the stuff you're interested in seeing, go to level 2, or the third floor. Just go to the top. This is, yeah. Some parts are pretty advanced. Nice, so if you don't want your museum map anymore, you can just put it in that bin and they'll reuse it. I'm keeping mine though. Sort of metro map with the Netherlands. Kind of cool. Yeah, all right. Well, we were just considering going to either Biden Hustle, but I had to, or Brussels. Kind of decided Brussels. Update, we decided to take a bus tomorrow anyway. It's a normal looking town at first. Hey mom, do we have to pay for an international data plan while we're just shouting each other? Yes. Interesting ad. Not. Very different feeling in Brussels than in Utrecht last night. Yes. Weird fair gates. Wow. We wanted to see the headquarters of the European Union. We found the headquarters of the European Commission. Turns out tours are not that simple.
nice literal street art. Yeah, got some flags. So these escalators turn on when you get on them. Or, well, just before, but still. style room. Not really the best view, but hey, we're in Frankfurt. So, found this. It's actually an bond station. That's an interesting looking building. This is how you cross a busy street in a big city. Just go through Metro. Make sure you don't have to go through any fair gates, which, you know, now in Germany there are absolutely none of. So we finally found it. Dinosaur right there. <laughs> All these brochures in all these different languages, yet the uh, versions in Arabic and Persian are, they have the T-Rex image flipped around. If I had found that in the rock, It's it's fine for me to do it. Don't worry. You know your museum's dedicated and very detailed and very important when it details its own history. Holy mat, the water was you in Without water, without chemicals, you're in an the future. Kind of just looks like you're urinating down a drain. Look, it even shows you what the person did in their life to deserve getting a street name after them. Go from saying finally in Berlin to finally back in Berlin. That's a nice change. Germany. Leave it by the trash can. Now it's over the best view, can't really see it, but trust me, it's not really the best. But we're back in Berlin, and they had gummy bears on my pillow for some reason. So this entire room, all for 70 euro a night for both of us. Big bathroom, and yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen a bathtub with legs. This, this cloth tub. tub. It's 1229, just waiting out here, waiting for everyone to be done with their classes. Okay, you know what? 1230, probably not many people down there right now, but let's just see who. Hello! Hello. So if you saw that the east and west side of Portland or Philadelphia has strong rivalry, you have not been to Berlin. Na, Lieben. 
first time. Oh man, we desperately need this in America. Because look, they actually tell you what's in the damn thing. Fun fact, these are actually legal now, I heard. We can have these. It's in English school, don't worry. So they, so they decided to invite me to a party some more over there in our Santa Pots. But I think I won't take my camera. Yeah, this is actually a pretty nice view. Bye Berlin, hopefully see you again sometime soon. Alright, let's see where we are going today. Alright, it shouldn't be too far, right? Oh my god. The obvious things you get in your last few hours in Berlin. Berlin Tango Airport. Unfortunately, not exactly one of the best airports I've been to. Still not home yet. Honestly, that flight didn't even feel that long. So even though we are going to US eventually, we're not going to Europe. Yeah, thanks guys, but that's really not helping. I don't think I've ever seen Vancouver at 6 a.m. before. And we're back. Well, actually, it's March now, and I'm about to go back to Berlin for another week, so it kind of didn't really feel appropriate to wait to post this until after that. So yeah, here you go. Hope you uh, enjoyed it, so you could see what was going on, and yeah, be sure to subscribe so you can learn something new every Sunday, like this video if you want. This is one of my usual videos, but I just wanted to kind of put it out there. Alright, and since it took me this long to get it out, I'm going to go off back to Berlin. And I will see you in a couple weeks with regular videos all over again. Auf Wiedersehen!